these videos on anatomical planes. So first of all, let's get def with a definition of anatomy and physiology. So anatomy is the study of the form of an organism, and physiology is the study of the functions of the organism, usually broken down into organs or organ systems. So the study of anatomy is useless without physiology. The study of physiology is useless without anatomy. So you must have both to coexist. So we're going to look at some basic nomenclature which we used throughout the course and throughout biology. The nomenclature we use here is of international standards as what you will find in the literature. Anatomical terms lead to standard anatomical position. So there are three planes in the body. We have the frontal, coronal plane, the transverse, horizontal plane, or the sagittal plane. So if something runs in the if something the sagittal plane runs directly through the centre of a person, it is called a medial plane. The coronal plane between separates the body between the front and back sections and anatomical nomenclature. This is known as anterior and posterior. These definitions are used in the following examples. The mouth is anterior to the throat and the retina is posterior to the cornea. So let's look at transverse plane. So a transverse plane separates the body between upper and lower sections. In anatomical nomenclature, this is known as superior and inferior. So these definitions are used in the following examples. The brain is superior to the heart and the large intestine is inferior to the lungs. And for the sagittal plane, this separates the body between left and right sections. In anatomical nomenclature, we base our understanding of this plane based on where the medial plane is. This defines whether something is medial or lateral, for instance, if something is closer to the middle or further away. These definitions are used in the following examples. The upper limb is lateral to the thoracic cavity and the nose is medial to the ear. Then we have the proximal versus distal, so the final nomenclature. So proximal refers to something that is closer to the torso, distal refers to something that is further away from the torso. These definitions are used in the following examples. A finger is distal to the wrist and the shoulder is proximal to the wrist. So the body can be made into sections that are useful for further microscopic study. These sections can be cross sections or longitudinal sections. These sections will reveal different patterns when viewed microscopically and should be considered as sections which give an indication of three dimensional space. The body is internally organised into separate compartments or cavities. Cavities contain and protect delicate organs. The dorsal posterior cavity and the ventral anterior cavity are the largest body compartments. The dorsal cavity, also known as the cranial cavity, contains the brain and spinal cavity. Sorry, the dorsal cavity it has the cranial cavity and the spinal cavity, and the cranial cavity contains the brain. The ventral cavity has the thoracic cavity, the heart and lungs, and the abdominal pelvic cavity. This an example, you can see here the cranial uh, cavity, the thoracic cavity, the cranial cavity, ve vertebral cavity, and the different sort of ways the uh, superior mediastinum, the pleural cavity, you can see there, the pericardial cavity from the mediastinum. The diaphragms etc then you see the abdominal cavity and the pelvic cavity in the diagram below 